everyone, it's Nancy. Hope you're all doing well. I'm back with the 50 stack challenge four and the prompts are um, number three is dog and number four is grandma's attic. So I kind of gathered some things together. Wasn't quite sure what to do. I don't have like dog images, but <clears throat> I thought I pulled out one of my golden books from the pokey little puppy and I thought I love this little image of him. And I thought maybe I could just do like a, use like a, one of these oversized index cards and make like a, a cool journaling card. Well, I don't know how cool it'll be, but you know, you can journal back here. And I thought this image would look cute here and uh, maybe cut out some of the words. Just something simple because I don't know where I would use it, but you know, it's cute. And then I've got some things here for Grandma's Attic. I'll tell you about that. So this should be a pretty quick video, nothing too exciting. So I kind of inked around the edges of this a little bit. It already had a patina to it, but I thought, well, I'm gonna start ripping out. I started and then I said, no, wait a second. I'm gonna rip this, hopefully not, I'm not doing a very good job already, but <laughs> we'll see. So, okay, so anyway, um, it, it is, uh, today is Monday. No, today is Tuesday, and uh, we we didn't get much snow like they said, but right now it is coming down in buckets. <laughs> oh boy, is it coming down. So, yeah, we're finally getting some snow. So I hope you're all doing well where you are. And it's so pretty, too. It really is pretty. And they did keep all, at least in the school districts where my grandkids are, they're in two different school districts, they are home. One school district had them stay home in Elearn, and then the other school district just gave them a snow day already. Now, that's just how that goes, I guess. So, and see, I think I could probably rip more of that off of here. Let me rip some more, maybe, off of the top of the sky here. That'll be better. I just thought it'd be a real <clears throat> cute little um, journaling card. So we'll just do that and I'll save it because you never know when you need a cute little journaling card. So I thought that would go on there and that looks pretty good. I can just ink a little bit around the edges here, not too much. You know, it's funny how some some prompts grab you right away to do something, and then the others you're struggling with, right? And then I don't know about you, but you know, when you when you get a prompt that you're struggling with, um, it it kind of makes you shut down a little bit, and I don't like that, you know, because I could have gone the normal way of printing a dog vintage dog image out or something like that, but it's it's like that's I wanted to try to think of something else, you know, where, where do I have dog images? And I thought of a golden book, so that kind of made me think a little better, you know, to try something just simple, but something different, you know. So he's smelling something in the air. It says, I smell something, said the porky little puppy. Well, I'm going to just cut that out for now, and let's see what else I can do with this. If I cut that out, um, I thought maybe I could put that on there, but let's see. Maybe, maybe not. The little sentence, let's see how it would even look. And I'm not going to beat myself up over this. It's whatever it looks like, I'm going to do it. Well, that's kind of cute. It would be cute in a little, uh, you know, like in a, a, a child's journal, like a kid, kid oriented journal, maybe, um, or just an, uh, just a fun journal, right? And that's what makes us go on our, out of our comfort zones to try something different. See, that's cute. All right. I was wondering if I should do anything else with these words, but. And then I thought, maybe I have this vintage blue ticket. 
I thought I could staple it there and that could just be the tab and then you'd have the back to journal on. I mean, it's really simple. There's nothing to this, but I thought, well, it's not really a vintage ticket, is it? It says staples on it, <laughs> the store. So, but it looks kind of a vintagey blue, doesn't it? But I'll cover that. I'll put the image so you won't see that. And I could probably ink up the edges a little more here. Just to kind of give it a more vintagey look. Not too vintage. It's not too vintage, but just a little aged look. How's that? And get some of that stark white. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, so first I'm going to glue this ticket on here. Where do I want to put that so I cover up staples? Yeah, something like that. So we'll put it right about there. So I hope everyone's doing well. Yeah, I'm, I'm so far keeping up with this challenge and the Junk Journal January and my um, Flower Shop Ledger Journal. So I am trying to get some more videos done here. See, that covers that up there. So I'm going to glue that image on here. First, I'm going to just trim my little corners. <clears throat> I like I like the look of that when you just take that little sharp edge off there. That looks good. Okay. All right. So, oh, he, that's a cute look at he's under his little blanket there. Oh, but I like this one here. It's real colorful. I guess I could put it on with my glue stick, but you know what? We're going to do it this way. And that'll work as well. So let me get that on. Tip of the ticket here too. That looks good. Yeah. Okay. And then let's put this word on. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> I didn't think that sounded right. Okay. I'll put it this way since I have this over here. But I think it's a cute little journaling card. Simple. looks cute definitely looks cute just a simple little index card that I can put in a pocket in a journal or slide in a you know a, a tuck spot <laughs> is what I'm trying to think of when I say that just simple I don't know I don't think there's anything else you need to add to this just something cute and simple not not very exciting but I like it it's fine so we'll put that to the side. The other one is Grandma's Attic. Now, I have a kit from Amity Bloom. It's called Mother's Sewing Effects, Mother's Sewing Kit. Um, so I had printed out an envelope, and it printed, I printed that out with a, a old-fashioned sewing machine. So I, I know Grandma, my grandma had a sewing machine just like this, and I actually had a little featherweight sewing machine myself not too long ago. Um, so what I did, I don't know if you can see it in here, but I wound some thread around there and I, as if I 
threaded the sewing machine and the thread's coming out. Can you see that? So, <laughs> I mean, you might not be able to see it, but I see it. So I thought I did that real cute. This is actually a little ticket from the floral shop kit that I'm working with right now. So I kept that little ticket there. I have a aged doily here and um, I printed out a button card and I went through my button stash and I sewed some buttons on. And this is actually going to go inside. So when I do make my sewing journal, um, I'll have a piece of ephemera for the sewing journal. So I thought I already cut out the envelope and ink the edges so we're just gonna put this envelope together here like that so let me get this on here like that okay and then the button card I made so I'm just gonna tuck that in there that's gonna so that'll hold that and then on the front is where I wanted to decorate with this so I'm gonna glue this on I'll trim it off the bottom so let's just get some glue on here I have to see how much glue I want because I am collecting things I mean I I do want to make a sewing journal so this will be a nice little piece of ephemera to go with that kit and I'm gonna put it right there I can always glue down the rest of the The rest of the doily. Let me just trim this off here. There we go. Okay. Let's see if I need to put a little, just a little bit more glue here on the bottom. there we go and then I want to glue the sewing machine right over here so we'll get glue on there um my uh, I had a neighbor when I was a young girl that uh, she was a couture seamstress and she showed me um, when I was like 13, she showed me, would have me come over and showed me how to sew. And um, that's how I started sewing. I started by sewing my own clothes. So I will never forget her. Her name was Mrs. K. And I have very fond memories of her. Okay, there we go. And I love the thread here. I don't know if you could see it, but I love the thread here. And whenever I see the sewing machine, it's one of my first loves of what I used to do. So, or I still do, but not as much. So it just makes me happy when I see a sewing machine. So that's why I thought this ticket would look really cute on here. Because it is my first love of uh, when I start and learned how to sew. And I think it's really cute. So, and it holds a piece of ephemera, the button card. And that'll be perfect for my sewing journal. So, really quick and easy projects. We have the puppy or the dog for number three and grandma's attic for number four. So, real simple, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're doing well with your uh, prompts too. Be it as elaborate or as simple as they are, you're making it and you're keeping up and that's all that matters really. So, have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!